Hey you guys, it is Victoria, and today I have a review for you, and my hair is all over the place. Um, it is a review on the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Let me tell you, this foundation is amazing. I wore to prom, stayed all night, um, it's packaging is adorable. Um, as far as traveling wise, probably wouldn't be the best, but if you have this cap that comes on it, air will not get in it, nor will it continue to pump. Um, I would put tape around it if you were traveling with it. Um, the claims that it has on the box, which it comes with this, it says full coverage, definitely covers that, it's definitely full coverage, it could be cakey. If you put too much on, I use probably a pump and a half um, for my face and neck and as a concealer. My skin type is oily to combination I still, and acne prone. Very sensitive to you, so just letting you know. 24 hour wear. I would never wear my foundation for 24 hours. I It probably starts fading by like... Probably about hour eight, in my opinion. But um, again, like I don't check throughout the day, so that's just for me reconciling, like from when I put it on. Cannot find the words today. Um, transfer resistant. That's a little bit false. Um, it does transfer a little bit. Um, it's not like you would have a complete spot on your face, but it does transfer a tad. Matte finish. I'd say it's more of a satin finish because it does get a little bit oily. Oh, well, I do. And it does show through, but it's not overly excessive looking. Like, you just are sweating like crazy. Um, fragrance free. It is fragrance free. Doesn't have a smell to it. Oil free. From what I notice, it is oil free. For all skin types, I don't think it would be good for a dry skin. It probably would cling to those dry patches and just not be very good. I use it with the translucent powder though. I buff it in with my Sephora um, 62 brush and um, it's a flat top brush and it's kind of pretty dense. It's not overly dense though. And I use it, the primer that I use with it is a, the um, Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. I've not tried it alone because I cannot wear foundation alone, otherwise I will break out. Um, I've not tried it without a powder either, but I don't think this is the type of foundation that you need to wear without a powder. Um, I just don't think you should wear any foundation without a powder. But um, I think it's a wonderful foundation. It's definitely adorable. Definitely get match for it. <laughs> Don't be ordering it offline. Um, if you do have to go to um, the store to find it, I would suggest taking the foundation that you already have that you know matches you, squirting it into a little cup or, I mean, a little baggie, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you have and um, matching it up, the foundation. Um, it's pretty true to its color. It doesn't oxidize at all, in my opinion, from what I noticed. Um, but um, that's a way to get your shade without having to bother the consultants and whatnot. You are definitely not bothering them, I can reassure you. But I absolutely love this foundation. It's definitely um, probably coming to be my holy grail foundation. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I strongly suggest picking up this while you're in your local Sephora, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.